In today's graphic design tips video, I'm going to show you four Photoshop blending mode uses that look really dope. What is up people, it's Tom's Tutorial Graphics back again with another graphic design tips video. Today I have 4 dope uses for the blending modes in Photoshop for you to try out for yourself. The first technique for using Photoshop blending modes is based around text or hand lettering. In Adobe Illustrator I have made some custom hand lettering myself, as you can see here. You can use standard text for this technique however. Or bring it over to Photoshop. The blending mode options in Photoshop are located here, and this is where we will be creating our effects today. For this effect, choose Overlay. The text should be white and it helps to have a somewhat dark image for the background. As you can see, it really lets the light shine through the text in a way that simply lowering the opacity will not do. Let's try a few other blending options out in the same category. And for this, I think overlay is the best blending mode option. Let's try it now with the black text and see how the outcome is. I'm going to use overlay again, but feel free to experiment with different blending modes. This next use for Photoshop blending mode options really helps if you have an image or document of text which is on one flattened image and you want to place it over a different image without the white background showing. I've quickly made this mock-up A4 image for the video. Usually you would have to go down to the magic wand tool and delete the white areas that way but that will take a lot of time. Set the blending mode of your white document to multiply and just like magic, no more white areas. If you set it to screen, then the black areas will become transparent. This is great for web graphics, infographics, brochures and many other areas of graphic design. If you have a black background to your text and the text is white, you can apply screen as a blending mode and you will have only the white text content over the top. You could also add a white background with a lower opacity for added effect. I really love this effect personally and it looks really professional in my opinion. The third Photoshop blending mode use will allow you to take an image of yourself or a different person and you can make it look instantly better. This image on screen already has some Photoshop work done to it it seems, but we can still enhance it with blending modes. Unlock the layer and hit Command J to duplicate it. On the new layer set the blending mode to overlay and then adjust the opacity to whatever you think looks best. Then for an even enhanced effect, we can add a blur to the top layer. Remember that the blending mode activated will stop the free view here of the, of the blur being the end result. As you can see, turning the enhanced layer on and off shows the difference between one blending mode adjustment and what it can actually do.
The last blending mode effect you can use involves using a texture over an image. So here we have a man and also a brick wall. We can use the blending mode to add the bricks across his skin. The texture has to be on the bottom layer with this technique. For this effect, you can try these five blending modes here. I personally am going to go with multiplay for my design. With the eraser tool, I'm going to delete some of the brick layer to add to the effect. So try these Photoshop blending mode uses out for yourself and see how dope you can make your graphic designs using them. I hope you enjoyed the video and some of my attentive viewers would have noticed that I'm uploading daily now. I've gone from uploading 3 days a week to 6 days a week, Monday being the only day I'm not going to be uploading. So until next time, design your future today, peace.